today's project radios I present to you the Revitus GMRS uh, claims to be 10 watt from what we've heard 5 watt output we're going to test that with this one fuck that still not sure how accurate the uh, SWR meter is but the power output seems to be pretty accurate on the uh, boo fangs there uh, these are the Beo Fang UV 5Gs, fully compliant. Not like my UV 5R, which is not in this area. So we're going to go through um, setting up the repeater, configuring the Beo Fangs, um, because these are, from what I understand, and read the uh, effing manual, uh, from what I understand, the transmit receive are backwards from what standard GMRS is, so we're going to check that also. Uh, I have not read the manual. Okay, so <clears throat> I purchased this from mygmrs.com, uh, link below. Shipping was amazing, their support before was amazing, haven't called them for help yet, but I'm assuming that it'll probably be just as good considering they got back to me with a I don't know, an hour of sending them an email. Uh, just like the original one, this one has, appears to be real leather hand strap. It's still going for that line amplifier container look, but this is not. And when I spoke to them over at my GMRS, they said that this was an updated version. And it does have a, a sub D or DB9, whatever you want to call it, connector, which is supposedly for future being able to add a, you know, call ID and uh, interface with it. I guess that's not a thing yet. Um, I don't know. It does look a lot different. This looks like it's meant to look like the other one, where the other one looks like it was actually built in a Lime amplifier. These provide fuck all for how to use this thing. Um, the best I can say is that it tells you how to use these to go up and down. All right, so uh, downloaded the software from my GMRS. <laughs> Way easier than trying to find it on the Revitas website. I'm gonna also back up here for a second so i actually was going to purchase this through revis directly from them i was going to wait this six weeks or whatever um they sent me my password in clear text to my email created an account with Revitus 
they sent me in clear text the password that I created to my email. That was when I decided not to put my credit card information in there. So we're going to go to read data. Yeah, it's pulling the data. Data, data. I guess data was a character. Here we go. And here's all of our settings. Our, um, CTCSS codes. Channel 1, re repeater channel 1. This isn't channel 1, GMRS channel 1. This is going to be repeater one, which depending on how your radio does it, could be, you know, 20 something or whatever. Um, all narrow banded. So it looks like they come all factory 136.5 for the CT CSS codes. So that's good. Um, I'm going to leave this pulled up and I'm going to program the repeaters on one of these radios. So, <clears throat> remember when you're on the bow fangs, you got to really push it in there. And I am out of USB ports on that side because I'm charging my phone. It's kind of tight. That fit. All right, let's open up Chirp. Fire up this radio. Now we got to remember the uh, UV five Gs. <sighs> Are not going to be the bow fangs. At least not. In my case, it's actually the radiotity, I believe. And UV5G, there we go. Whoa, whoa. We just lost power. That's all right. We got batteries. At least I can program a radio. Spooky. All right, so this is what I was talking about. We're gonna go to repeater channels. Yeah, so our repeater one starts at channel 23. Um, too. Yes, maybe I just went to sleep. Um, all right, so so we're gonna we'll just do so. We'll, let's see. Um, repeater channel one four six two five five is the transmit. Alright, so so I think what we need to do is actually go to four six actually I think we can actually modify this. We can. Okay, so we're just gonna change our Peter channel one to match our Peter channel one on here. So we'll change it to four six seven. Peter channel three. And then we come over here. Oh. Offset of five. Properties is going to be. I know we lost power, huh? That's all right. I got batteries. Hi, 
How oh. about battery? There's just saw a light come on. Hi, kids. Looking for a flashlight. No, it like lit up the side of the house over there. Oh. But it just went, it's dark now. I'm so close to programming this, I gotta change the tones. Oh, are you leaving me? Bye. Alright, 136.5. So let me pull this out so we can actually see what's going on here. So there we go, 136.5. Thirty-six point five. Cheddar. All right. Um. So we're high. Uh. I. I think that. That's kind of weird. What happened here? Repeater channel one four six seven five five five. That's the transmit frequency. So that's the receive frequency here. Come across, come across, come across. It's going to be minus. Offset is going to be 5 megahertz. Why did that change? 5. I guess you have to set that as well if, if you change. So you have a couple options here. You have split which I don't fully understand off is no offset so that's kind of stupid um, I think that means that you can't transmit at all you can only receive or vice versa uh, plus means that your receive is going to be your offset above minus is your offset below so we've changed our repeater channel 1 to match our repeater channel 1 and it's actually going to be a minus, it's going to be a negative offset. Because if we come down here, we can actually see. Um, no, we can't. So we're good there. So and we changed our our CC or our CTCSS tones to match to the 136. Um, we still got our radio hooked up, even though we don't have any power. And we're going to upload it to the radio. Com4 radiodity, radio lit up, it's ready to receive. And here we go. Now I do have a problem. Uh, and that is I am out of power. And with no power comes no ability to fire up this radio. So I dug into the box found this jobber should have read the fucking manual you gotta use the remote start otherwise the thing don't work so plug her in give her the power push the button and we got light long hold three seconds at least it goes through its thing first one is going to be the SWR, second one is going to be the total power output, and Channel mode. we're on repeater one, and we're receiving, and we're over 5 watts, we're at 5.8, look at that, alright, what, well, let's give it a who. Ooh. I don't know if you can see that. Came back at 2.1. All right, and Tim is out of the room. 109, 120.
All right, so got our antenna up there. 